Hi, I'm Brett. Another video update on the Subaru BRZ Toyota 86 uh, FA 20 engine. That's the direct injection with the throttle body injectors, normally aspirated, that comes out in the cars that are becoming so popular around the world. And we're doing another engine rebuild, and you can see the engine beside me at the moment without the front timing case cover. And what we're going to talk about today is the way the parts work with a variable cam control, the two tensioners, the sliders, and the importance of these parts. And one of the things that we found, which is a small weakness in the engine that you'll find helpful to um, understand when you're doing an engine rebuild. And on a recent engine that we rebuilt, you'll see this particular part here is a, a floating guide as it moves around a little bit. But actually, as the tensioner moves up and down and the chain tightens and slackens off, this guide here will move in and out a little bit on these guides. You can see it's an elongated hull. It's actually mechanically retained by this bolt up at the top. And what actually happened on another engine that we've done, not this particular engine, the other engine is in the middle being rebuilt at the moment, this particular guide pin was actually, um, had fallen out and come down and gone down into the, into the sump. And then what had happened is this part here um, on the tensioner had been causing the chain to not always be retained nice and neatly and tightly on the crankshaft and the variable cam control. And we suspect that was possibly the cause of the reason for it uh, dropping a rocker arm and eventually punched the rocker arm out through the rocker cover um, casting and did some damage to the camshaft and the cradle as well. So if you're doing a rebuild on one of these engines, um, as a guide, tell your engine builder or yourself, make sure you check that these locating pins are correctly um, retained into the block. They're a interference fit inside here. Um, we have no idea how or why they come out. We've spoken to Subaru, they don't even know why. It must be hopefully just a random problem that happens every now and then. But whilst we've got this apart, it's a good opportunity to see how it all works. So you've got a, a cam chain tensioner here, another cam chain tensioner here, and the two chains that drive the inlet and exhaust variable cam control. Inside here is a lot of delicate parts that you need to be aware of if you're doing an engine rebuild with possibly a damaged uh, big end bearing that can get full of metal particles that in long term will cause problems with um, the way that works from an oil pressure point of view because it's fed by oil pressure from the engine. And you'll remember we spoke about the timing cover that goes to the front here, which this part here drives the oil pump that then feeds these um, oil pressure galleries and O-rings to, into the engine and then for the rest of the uh, oil pressure to control the variable cam control and of course the vital oil that then goes to the cams, the cam journals, the crank and also the bottom of the engine everywhere else. This part here, if you're curious what it is, is actually the water pump which runs, runs remotely from the outside of the engine, a little bit different to the um, previous EJ series engines. But last but not least, I just want to touch on one other small thing which is a little bit of interesting knowledge and I'll get my video cameraman to come down here and in the back here, you'll see there's a sensor just down there, just that one there, and there's one here. Now they are the two dual knock control sensors that um, provide, um, that effectively they're microphones to send important information back to your engine ECU. If you're doing an engine rebuild on these, it's critical that they are refitted at the right angle to work in harnessing the noise that they obviously measure inside the engine. Super are very, very specific on their uh, engine rebuild notes for the actual angle that that needs to be done up. So if you're doing an engine rebuild, don't just throw it all back together. They will fit at any angle because they've just got a retaining bolt in them for the microphone to bolt onto the head. Little tip there, make sure that you put them back at the right angle as per the factory engine rebuild notes. So there you have it, the Subaru FA20 engine. Another couple of tips to help you learn about your car for whether you are here in Australia or overseas. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. I'll send some digital uh, photos that you can find at the link of this video channel to our Facebook page to understand more about what these parts look up close up. And uh, for now, wherever you are in the world, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.